Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to do a sample audio programming using Bose CX1280C. To add device to our design, from the device list, just drag and drop the device. After that, to rename the device, just right click on the device and rename the device. I am using my channel name. Here is the design that we are going to work on. To add the devices that you are seeing in this screen, you can just drag and drop from device list. To rename any device, just right click on the device and rename it. I am adding zone 1, zone 2 and zone 3. After adding the devices, we have to route input signal to output. Now I will show you how to do that. Double click on this block that will navigate to a program window. You can see all the input blocks and output blocks. To rename any block, just right click on the block and select rename and change the name that simple as per our sample design input 1 should be mp3 and input 2 should be laptop we can also rename these ports if you look at the right side here are the properties of this block input 1 i am naming it to mp3 input 2 i am naming it to laptop in a similar way output also let us rename Output 1 is going to zone 1, 2 is going to zone 2, 3 is going to zone 3. Now you know how to rename blocks and each port. I have already added the components that is required to save some time. Now I will show you how to do a connectivity between each block. Further, just click on the nodes. and establish the connection from input to output successfully we have enabled the wiring in this design i have added source selector to switch between the mp3 and laptop audio and I have added individual gain for each zone to control a volume of each zone. Here the wire connection doesn't look right. To beautify this, just right click on the block, go to set port spacing and give the spacing. It is set. Now we'll do the selector. This is also set. In a similar fashion you can do for all other blocks. You can also rename selector channel 1 and channel 2 click on the block go to properties channel 1 is mp3 and channel 2 is laptop now i will show you how to label wire right click on the wire go to wire properties and label it confirm so you can see this red. You can add same label to all the wires wherever is required. That will help a AV technician a better troubleshooting. Thank you.